Hello, this is our third video in this series of video tutorials and today we are going to see how to install XSI Backup at Crontab. We'll do a quick installation by using the installation script that you can download at 33hops.com This installation is quite straight It'll take a few seconds to download and install everything to the default directory. You can list the contents to make sure that everything is there. And now you can just execute XSI Backup without any argument. This will allow you to accept the end user license agreement and prepare XSI Backup for use. And once we have XSI Backup installed and ready to be used, we can proceed to install the cron tab. The procedure is very straightforward. You just have to parse the argument install cron and that will install the cron tab. If you wish to uninstall the, the cron tab, you just run the same command. XSI Backup will detect the cron tab is installed yet and it will allow you to remove it. The cron system will install the cron tab itself, which uh, you can see as XSI Backup hyphen cron and the log file associated to it, which by now will be empty. If we now open the XSI Backup Chrome file by using the VI editor, we find some basic instructions and a basic example. Probably the smartest way to work with this file is just duplicating the example line by entering double Y and then P. Uh, VI will duplicate that line and then you can change whatever values you need. You can change, for instance, the data store path where you want your backups to be stored. You should change to the time argument, which is a string compounded by uh, points in time separated by pipeline characters. Those points in time are compounded in turn by a weekday name abbreviation and the time expressed in hours and minutes in a 24-hour format. The XSI backup cron lines are just regular backup jobs as you would run them manually from the console. The only difference is the time parameter, which of course the cron needs to know when the job has to be fired. But anything else is exactly the same that you would run from a shell prompt, so please do try any backup job before putting it into the cron tab. In XSI Backup Pro you can also choose to add a backup ID to each one of these lines and that backup ID can be used to chain backups so that one of them finishes the other one gets fired. Well that's all. Goodbye and thank you again for using XSI Backup.